What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another movie review here on the channel. We just got back from watching uh, Chapter 4 of John Wick. Wow. Uh, I think... It was incredible. Yeah, I think I... Okay, well, how excited... I'm going to start. Like, how excited were you, like, for this movie going in? Like, Very excited. Like, even, like... Oh, even so like how, to it all week. But no, but even, but even, like, when the year started, you, you know it was coming out? Like, mm, oh, okay. Not, like, that much? Not, like, Because I, I don't... I don't... I never keep up with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're excited, obviously, to see John... Yeah. Like, to see another John Wick movie, and I think... Uh, of course. And, uh, you know, Keanu never usually disappoints. I think that's one, one thing, obviously. He's a great actor. Like oh, he's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he yeah. knows his character and he plays it well. Basically. I mean, honestly, man. He, I mean, you look back even, he's like... like talented, like, play, doing all the stunts and everything. Like. And I think in just, like, culture, like, the culture that has existed for the last little, like, 20-so years, like, he was in one of the greatest... Well, whether you, you lo like you love it or not, but, like... The impact that it, that it had the original Matrix movie, like, mm -hmm. like that shit is like engulfed in our culture, yeah, yeah. and like I don't like red pill, blue pill, like mm -hmm. all that shit and stuff. Mm -hmm. And he was he was like the main character in it, so yeah. it just uh, guy's amazing. Obviously, in this movie, like man, if you love action, dude, it was two love hours, forty minutes of just nonstop action. That's a lot of time. Non That's like close to Avatar level action. like length, right? Like. Mm -hmm. And like I wasn't really bored. Like, and it, well, you can't. It's literally just non-stop. It's non-stop. Like yeah. there's always something happening. Yeah, it, always. You know what it's it was? More peaceful you know what it was? It, I feel like it was like a extremely long dance recital, but it was action. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. was like, it was the choreography. It was yeah. Fan fucking tap. Like the choreography, the sit, like the, the scene settings. Oh, like, fuck. bro. All like all yeah. every, think about every fucking scene in that movie was yeah. like shot like picture perfect. Do you think it was all live on set? Yeah. You think so? Uh huh. Even like in like the driving with the in that in, in Paris, like downtown, like. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe not that part. Yeah, that's a little tough, right? It's tough. But everything else, like whether they were in Japan or um, very little in New York, and and then obviously going to Paris, <laughs> yeah, um, there and stuff, and just mm -hmm. uh, oh my god, just like no, so good, was, man. It was like, fantastic. and I seen like at the end, I think it was just like one stunt coordinator. I'm like. Wow, just one. I was like, one guy. Yeah, I didn't the one guy. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. No, it's it's extremely talented how they're up to the, yeah. with, with the min most like minimal shots that you can. Right? Is it just me or I feel like though Keanu did more than he's ever done in this one? I yeah. feel like I feel like he like, well, he, like he really performed himself. He, he did a fantastic job. Like I think it was his best like performance like choreography wise. Maybe, yeah. I think so. But like all to be honest, all the John Wick movies are just flexing with the choreography. Yeah. Right? No. It's like No, it's ridiculous. If you could appreciate it for what it is yeah. and stuff. Um, like, okay, like, I guess the best way to summarize it is, like, it's good, like, okay, here's the thing, the story is decent, like, the story of the movies, you, the story, yeah. I've always been, like, decent, but that's not the main reason why. That's I'm not why you're watching the movie, right? Yeah. I think it, like, turned it up a notch. Right? I like the dynamic, like, you know, going back to the old ways with the duel, like, I thought that was really cool, like, yeah, I think, like, perfect. they they did, like, some really cool things with yeah. that, yeah. you know, um, feeling like the world's weighing down on him. You know what I mean? Like even his old, like his old friend, obviously Kane going after him. Yeah. You know, um, and he feel I, I don't know, cause like the whole time and you see him going through all this stuff mm -hmm. and you kind of feel like, how does, how does he have this will to live? Like, it's like yeah. realistically, right? And I remember he said, he said, you know, to, to, for somebody to remember her, right? Helen, whatever. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, bro, like, <laughs> like going through all this shit. And stuff, and and by the way, they ended it. I think with that, I think it was a nice piece. Perfect. perfect. It was just because I'm guessing he bled out, right? That's pretty much what it was. Yeah. Just kinda, yeah. You're not gonna survive getting shot three times. Exactly. And he just yeah. kind of just like faded away, and just like that, the next mm -hmm. shot fades mm -hmm. to thing. I think it was very beautiful. Honestly, I think that was really nice. Raw shot, like with the kind of the sunrise coming up in, in Paris mm -hmm. and stuff, and mm -hmm. it was the right way to go out for him. I yeah. Think. I think it was and stuff, and the way they culminated that story, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. I think like it made all sense and stuff, like in between. I like how. They, they make you feel for a lot of people in it, right? Bro, like, they introduced... I think this one introduced more characters than any other John Wick movie. Yeah, yeah. But they were all, like, really well-written characters, yeah. really well done. Like, the, the guy at the beginning, the uh, guy in Japan, and his daughter, like, that was I liked him a so lot. It was sad. Cool. Like, I knew he was going to die, but it was like... I know. But, like, that was an amazing, like... Oh, yeah. I love those two characters so much. The guy mm. with the dog, Mr. Nobody. Mr. Uh, Nobody. We still don't know his name, but yeah, yeah. Mr. Nobody. Like, and that character dog. I want to learn more about. Yeah, I think I think actually that that might have been one of the weaker characters, to be honest. It was a, it was a fun part of it. It was fun, sure. but I, I think he was just one of the weaker links. Like if I had to be like nitpicky. Well, was that maybe the point though? Maybe. Is that the maybe. intention? Maybe. That's what I'm saying. Maybe for like a spinoff or something. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think if I'm nitpicking, 
that that part was kind of just it felt like it was just out of him like his, yeah his uh his friend and everything like his the one i was blind like Kane, yeah yeah Kane. like that he was, was great yeah no like i'm telling you like every character in this kind of felt like really dynamic late lance reddick obviously of course was sure yes. that was a shock for me man like i remember saying it to you before we walked in and i was saying Bro, I feel like you're gonna die, and you're like, well, well yeah, yeah, like, well, yeah. well. It's based off the way the last movie ended. Like. But then, like, bro, right away, man. And, like, as soon as he started pointing at Winston, I was like, oh, and he didn't shoot him right away. I was like, oh, fuck. And then he, yeah, okay. I was like, oh. I, I just, maybe just because he passed, I want to see more. I want to like to see more of him. He did go out pretty cool, though. It was an honor, like, yeah. I said that. Like, I like that. Yeah. Like, the fact that they added that, I think, more impactful, I think, mm -hmm. just by that line, just that one line, but. Just like, show that was a good, like, that guy deserved to die, man. Mm -hmm. Like, what did he do to deserve that? That's the fucking hard part, right? The thing is, like, right? that's just part of the movie, right? Like, no, I know. The consequences, right? So, I think that's what, like, I think that's what made, like, the whole story and stuff kind of just, like, I don't know. You just kind of felt that weight in the balance at the same time. Well, the thing is, like, again, they made that scene before he passed away. Yeah, obviously, right? So it's not like they intended it to be. I think, they, I think they just added it at the end. They just put in memory of Lance Reagan. Of course. Yeah, so that's just a nice touch. A nice, nice touch. Time. I mean, like, it was not long ago. So it was last week, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, which is crazy and stuff. R.I.P., of course. Lance, such a, the goat, the such guy. a, like, Involved, his voice, but, but just his voice is so, yeah. like, it's like. Zavala and Destiny and like all that. Like, just, oh my God. Just I mean, he's a good actor, good voice actor. Every, he's such a talented guy. Yeah, yeah. It sucks that we lost him, so. Yeah, so young too. Yeah. Well, what would you think about like the villains though? Like guys like, The obviously. villains in this, I think, were my favorite along with the first. Because he was just like, you were like, oh, fuck this guy. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like, yeah, it was like, yeah, like. no mercy for this fucker. I know. It's like the most, it's like the most satisfying, like, he, he died in his own arrogance. Yeah. And that, that makes... The sad, one of the more satisfying villains. That was the most amazing. Like he, he was arrogant as fuck, and then he dies because he's arrogant as fuck. Well, that's, yeah, so that's, that's like it. for good riddance, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I was just like, oh man, this guy like such a dick. I remember like earlier. I remember they were near those horses, I think, and he was like, oh, the, that's my intention. That, that was in that was the goal for the bloodshed. It's yeah. like, who are you? Literally. Like, who are fucking you? Like, yeah, literally. But just like, it feels that much better. Or his than... accent too, it's like, just fucking like, get this guy out. Very good acting job though. He fantastic. Did a fantastic like, job. like, oh my God. Like, like, but he made a very compelling villain. Like, well, when a villain can make you feel that way, it, it's, it's, it's a testament to him, it's right? Good, yeah. So it was amazing. And he looks so familiar, by the way, so. But uh, I did obviously want, I want to talk about our highlights now, um, obviously. Um, what was your um, favorite Man, moment in the you're movie? you're gonna ask me this. Um, I love it. I love putting people on the spot. Like, like think about. It, there's so many brutal fucking scenes. Want me to tell you mine? Okay, go ahead. Okay, for I my, think I know. I think I know. I for my, it's definitely that fat fucker who's reminding me of Penguin, like in like the Batman, obviously Batman <laughs> yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah. and like and just him, like and literally, I said to him because he kept getting up, and somehow this guy, I don't know if he was on major drugs or something, because I don't know how this guy is just so fucking strong and agile and quick. And like, and then like, I kept, I remember I called him the Undertaker when we were watching it. I was literally like, cause he comes up like this. I'm like, yo, got Undertaker. And then he literally, he gets launched off almost like a tombstone Paul driver's the cement. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, man. like, how, like, how did I, yeah, <laughs> like, that's yeah. just fucking crazy. That was my favorite moment. Oh, I really enjoyed man. that. Even just the dog, even like an honorable mention, like even the dog, like fucking chewing away at that mother bodyguard motherfuckers balls yeah, yeah, yeah. and then like shot him in the fucking yeah, head after yeah, yo yeah, yeah. oh that was good yeah that that's good. what I was saying I really like I really enjoyed like I'm just gonna say like the whole sequence with them in Germany like that whole fucking like sequence of events oh yeah everything, everything. I love that like I love that like everybody was dancing non-stop yeah, yeah, yeah. then all of a sudden when the guy when the guy when the guy fell off to his death everybody fucking yeah. went crazy well no but if you notice in the background of the scene people were fucking starting to like oh were they starting to yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't know there's, I, there's some, okay so there's some some people so, were turning up though so, yeah. so some of the scenes they're still dancing and then some of the scenes like where they shoot it oh okay they're like what the fuck like, oh you know okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you look back at it yeah okay okay definitely gonna rewatch it yeah. by the way and i i i guess my other like just dude, i want to say everything like there's yeah. so many good things yeah, yeah and with that what are you gonna give it for a movie rating out of 10 what is it what's the verdict Shit. okay i think i'm gonna go on 9.2 9.2 yeah. well in the car you were saying potentially well, 9.5 I, I said potentially that's the thing <laughs> I gotta leave room for other stuff, you know? No, I know. Not a perfect movie. Two, Not a perfect two, movie, but close. 9.2 is almost perfect. Because I know when you showed me on, on your phone that IGN gave it a 10 out of 10. I think a little bit of a reach. That is a reach. That's like... I, I, I don't Bro, know I don't, you... I don't give... I haven't given anything a 10 out of 10 for a movie yet. I don't think I have. I think you did back then. 
Fuck, is that amazing? But I like, think you gave Spider Man away all of the time. Actually, think. yeah, but that was a good movie. <laughs> yeah, I know. But maybe that was also racist. To be honest. <laughs> that that would have that would have been like, okay, if I'm reordering right now, like yeah. this is like nine point two. That would have been like a nine. I think. Yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, yeah. yeah. listen, listen. It's my hot take. I just enjoy John Wick movies. It's just yeah, that's it's fine. Just me. You're allowed. You're allowed. You're allowed. It's just me. I'm an enjoyer. Um, but for me, I think I think I really enjoyed it. Honestly, I did. Uh, I. I think like these movies, man, I like I was telling you too, like I can't watch these movies in peace. Like other action movies, I can just watch it, just chill, watch it. Yeah, because you know. But like, it's the dogs, man. If the dogs kill me, man. I don't care if the person die. I don't care. It's like a dog, man. Yo, when they're like, what? dude, so many times I almost, I don't know if people saw behind me, but I almost like jumped out, dude. I was actually, like literally everything. Like, actually, dude, I actually, like when that touch point died, I was like, whoa, <laughs> I was just like, I just did not like, mm -hmm. oh my God. I mean, it, it honestly is very impactful going back to the first movie with, uh, Daisy, I believe the dog was and stuff. Mm -hmm. Just sad thing about that. But uh, in general, though, I think I give that a solid nine out of ten. I think it was fantastic. Yeah, I agree. Um, definitely one of my favorite action movies in the last long time. Mm -hmm. Like pure action movie. Well, like it well, kills like, anything. I think, action, honestly. yeah, it does. Like it, that. That's why I love John Wick so much because it, mm. it's action. Which yeah. you know, I think everyone can enjoy a little bit of action here and there. No, of course. But like, it puts a spin on the action. Well, because I know you criticize people that are just like, oh, you know, like action buff. Like, yeah. you need that shit. Yeah. I don't. I don't need it. Like, yeah. I, I, I can. I don't. I can it. enjoy great dialogue, great yeah. cinematography. We don't need. Like, again, we don't need it. We talked about this during our end review. You should watch it. If, you, know, <laughs> if you haven't already. Yeah. But uh, no, I mean, like, that's the thing. You don't need action all the time. Yeah. No. To make something good. No, it's unnecessary. Yeah, and no. and and I think what this is this is what I'm trying to say with this movie. It's action, but it's refreshing. And that's the whole John Wick franchise as a whole. Well, because it's high quality, right? High quality, high quality, amazing scene setup. Yeah. Uh, like, dude, think about it. Think about how well all these scenes were in this one. Like, think about it. picturesque, bro. Like, yeah, fucking yeah. wallpaper shit. Like, yeah, it's yeah, nice. Yeah. But, uh, no, oh, yeah. And then I wanted to ask you, obviously, you kind of spoke a little bit on it, but to get it on the record, though, your John Wick rankings. I'm going to say, uh, I think I refined it a bit. Okay. Because, to be honest, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. first one was good, but, like, dude, the the shots and everything like they really evolved you can tell right like in terms of like, oh yeah just technology like, and yeah. everything yeah so for that case i'm gonna say one and four are my top they're both like kind of equal to me to be honest okay because one is good but it, like this is like a movie that's like yeah you can rewatch this yeah yeah like one you know you know what goes on it's like whatever yeah. like think about, think about one has like three main like action sequences yeah this is like the whole fucking movie is the action sequence. Yeah, which is crazy, yeah. It's insane. That's a lot of work. It is a lot that's of work. That's exhausting. Honestly, that's very exhausting. Dude, I think his body count in this movie was like... Oh my god. More than like all of them combined. Bro, honestly. <laughs> yo, are we like on the upwards of 2-300? Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. For sure, right? Yeah, 100%. I think going into the movie, they said he had 300 confirmed kills, I think. Yeah. Somebody counts. Yeah, somebody counts. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, have fun with this movie. No, exactly. <laughs> have fun counting this movie. But, but uh, those are your rankings. Well, one, four. One and four. Both are the same with me. Yeah. Me. Like, one is more just because when they introduced him as a character, they did such a good job. It just, they really fleshed it out, yeah. Like, like yeah, yeah. just him as a character. I'll, I still get chills when I think about it. Like, that fucking scene with uh, with Vigo, and he's like, yeah, yeah. he gets called from, uh, fuck, I can't remember the guy's name, like a mechanic. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, I heard you hear my son. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he's like, yeah. May I ask why? And he's like, yeah. Well, because uh, he stole John Wick's car. And then Vigo's like, fuck. And he closes the call. And you're like, shit. Okay, some shit's like, yeah, you know, John Wick is like, it's not a yeah, exactly, like, exactly right. That I I love the movie for that. But yeah. like in terms of just like overall, like yeah, like these two are just I think top notch for me. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I might even like it sounds fun, fucking bullshit, but like maybe even more than the first. Like yeah, maybe maybe. But I'm just gonna buys, say buys, maybe. I mean, there is that's why, that's why for just, everything. Yeah, is, yeah. That's what I'm just gonna say. First in this one, like yeah. together. Yeah. Uh, second one for sure, and that third one's last. Yeah, yeah. But again, all of them fantastic. I do think though for sure, third one I dislike the most. But it, like just because not a bad thing. Honestly. It wasn't bad. It was just like it's not as good. As like yet, I, to be honest, I, I don't want to sound like you know like anything bad, but like I didn't really like Holly Bader's character that much. <sighs> didn't like, do too much. Didn't do too much. Like compared to the characters in this movie, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. No, you're compared because you could yeah. do side by side, right? So yeah, comparison. No, no. But uh, comparison. like the other stuff from that movie that besides like the Halle Berry sequence, like mm -hmm. it was uh, really, really well done. Like, dude, the motorcycles with the katanas, man, in that movie, fantastic. Fucking funny, man. Fantastic. No, I mean, like, yeah, I, there's not much else to say. Like, I think yeah. that's just how I'd rank them: one and four, or and then you know, two. Because two is also a great movie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, three. I'd say two that. was a great sequel. Yeah. Two was a great. Um, movie. I think I have exactly the same rankings as you. Um, but. In that comparison, I don't see one and four equal. I do see it very close. But I think, I, like, I think it's remarkable. I think, like, I like 
like everybody involved in the movie, like I think should be very proud. Cause I think like, I don't remember the last time I watched sequel, fucking any of those other movies that followed like a major franchise. And I was like, this thing could almost take down the OG. Yeah. yeah. And this one, like honestly, you, I like, you, you, you could make an argument to me yeah. and I would say fair. That's all I say. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I don't think it is, but. And like, like yeah, okay, like, we're talking yeah. about recency bias, but also roasted yeah. the glasses. Are exactly, 100%. Right? So one hundred percent though. But um, I was gonna ask you though, the future of well, we know John Wick obviously died, but the future of John Wick through that post credit scene, uh, what did you think about that when you were watching it? Very interesting. Very like I don't know what to interpret. It's it's I, it's like maybe it's. I maybe, definitely want to see more of her character. I mean, yeah, for sure. I well, thought it was gonna do. I we heard there was a post credit scene. I thought, it was I thought her character nobody. like that that like those two like her and her dad. Were fantastic remember i mentioned it earlier in the review yeah no, they're a fantastic character i want to see more well do you think she was she was she killed him right there or like she took a shot at him because he, he looked un like ready for that mm -hmm. like he wouldn't have expected that who knows the thing is like with these like movies is that we don't know i was just like i just hope they do continue i hope it doesn't hinge on that the thing box is, like, office i think i think it'll be great if like i want to see more of this universe yeah i want to see like the whole like yeah um, what is a house? Like, Dude, you can make like a short movie just on like the house, like for example. It's it's yeah. really it's it's really interesting, honestly. Yeah. Like I've never seen anything like it. Like the duel, I didn't know about that, and I think I, it was very interesting, honestly. Did really like you can it. give me a movie of just like Winston mm. and his history, and I'll be like, I'm fucking, I'm I'm going. One hundred percent. I'm interested. In it. I want to yeah. see these characters again, and if they do it in a certain way, I mean, without Keanu, obviously, he won't be involved. It's fine. fine. I mean, it's fine, right? Yeah. It's interesting. Obviously, to think about the future, though, but it was a fantastic movie, though. Totally amazing, guys. If you guys did watch it, uh, let us know down below. You shouldn't be watching a spoiler review if you, if, if you didn't, but, I mean, hey, power, all power yeah, to yeah. you. But uh, let us know down below what you thought. Obviously, of John Wick Chapter 4, did you watch it on opening night, opening weekend? Uh, let us know what you thought. Give it a rating out of 10. What do you think about the future of John Wick? I think they wrapped up his story arc very well. Um, like we thought it happened, just let us know down below your thoughts about the movie though. Do you think Andre is cold wrong for challenging the OG or you think, or you think it, it's justifiable? I think it, I think it's justifiable, but not for me. I, and it's not for me, my Fair. kids though. Fair. I think I, I'm definitely gonna put up a poll on the channel though. I'm definitely gonna put like, what's your favorite John Wick movie? Okay. We'll see, who, we'll sure see what it is. We'll see, let the people decide, you know? Mm -hmm. Let the people decide though. It was a fantastic movie. Definitely very much worth it. I know a lot of people think, a lot of people say, is it worth justifying a full price movie ticket? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Absolutely. And not, honestly, Without a doubt. going into it, I wasn't sure. I mean, like it was just like, mm, okay, this could be really good. The peak I thought this movie could be, actually, it actually exceeded that. Going to the movie, so I think. Interesting. Yeah. So for me, opinion. it was like, I was extremely hyped. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was going to be good yeah. and it surpassed that. I didn't know. So. I was just like, I didn't know, you know? Like it was, I was in that like cloudy area, but mm -hmm. no. High praise, of course. But anyways, guys, if you guys did our enjoy our review, by the way, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell down below as well. You'll be notified for any more in the future. Doing a bunch of shows right now as well. So if you want to go check that out on the channel, you can check it out. If you have that bell on, you will get notified for it and stuff. And man, oh man, so many good movies out. Coming out. Right. Coming out. Already out. So many good things. And any final words? Oh, man. Just go watch it if you haven't. Go watch it if you haven't. John Wick is a freaking legend. Keanu Reeves. Man, fucking crazy performance, man. Crazy performance. I can't wait to see what he decides to do next. Yeah. But anyways, guys, appreciate you all for watching. As always, we'll catch you next time. Peace.